Hey everyone, I'm actually pretty stoked to film this video today because it is for a human hair wig. This is a human hair wig from the company called The Hair Click. Um, the Hair Click is based out of the UK and they do custom human hair pieces. So I'll tell you a little bit more about The Hair Click as I go through the video and I show you the wig. I don't want this intro to be really long, but yeah, I'm really, really excited about this wig because it is custom. So uh, without further ado, let me show you this wig. So the wig that I'm going to talk to you about today is from the Hair Click. Um, it arrived in this very sturdy box from the UK, as I mentioned. So the Hair Click does do custom pieces. So Edith from the Hair Click can essentially um, create any colour, balayage, hair texture, um, cap construction that you like, um, obviously within logical parameters, and she can create, um, I guess, your dream hair. So what I, uh, so the wig that I have is actually a custom piece, Russian human hair, um, and it is custom coloured. So let me just open up the box so I can at least start showing you the wig. Um, it comes in a satin bag, which I find really useful for traveling. So I do like to um, wrap my wigs up in these satin bags when I do travel or when, when, when Australia is open up to traveling again, I will be traveling with those bags. Um, it comes in a hairnet. And this is the beautiful hair from the Hair Click. Uh, it's stunning. So I have been really passionate about red wigs and strawberry blonde wigs lately. And I've wanted to try one for the longest time in human hair. So it is a beautiful strawberry red base with strawberry blonde highlights and balayage all the way around. It's a stunning wig. It's 16 inches. It is straight very thick so it's 150 percent density which i like on a on a human hair wig i like my um hair to be quite thick and it does have a custom hairline which you'll see more in a little bit but it has been um the way that it's contoured around your forehead um it has been thinned out so it's already pre-plucked if you will and yeah it's just a beautiful beautiful piece so um edith does have different hair textures and different hair qualities i think she has european russian uh, mongolian mongolian mix so you know um i chose the russian and a balayage effect with highlighting and obviously the color which i'm absolutely in love with so before i put it on let me show you the inside of the cap and then we'll um, go into a little bit more detail. So it is a closed wefted cap. Um, it is a lace front, uh, lace top. It doesn't have e tabs, but it does have the lace, which I'll need to um, lay with adhesive. Uh, it has an elastic strap, which helps it stay in place without moving too much. And it has an extended nape with adjusters. So I really like these types of caps because it does give me that security in the back with the lace front for added realism in the front. So these, this is the type of cap that I like on these types of human hair wigs, which aren't medical wigs, but can be worn, I guess, for people with alopecia as well. So yeah, I'm gonna put it on really quickly and um, show you how great that lace front is, um, how well it fits, and then I will get into cutting the lace and installing. Okay, so I've just actually plonked it on my head. I've tightened the um, elastic strap slightly um, only because uh, I just wanted it to be a little bit tighter on my head. So this cap is actually a average cap or a medium. Um, when I did speak to Edith at the hair click to talk about sizing, I told her that I am a petite to average. So I'm on the smaller side of average and she recommended I go and just try on a standard average. I'm pretty happy with how this fits. Um, it's not loose, but it is, the cap does have some stretch in the back. I think if I went petite, it might've been a little bit too tight around the forehead and might've stretched that lace a little bit. So I'm gonna come up close so you can see the lace front because this is one of the things I'm really excited about is that custom hairline. So as you can see, um, the lace, is invisible it's uncut at the moment it's invisible it's a really beautiful hairline it is contoured it's thinned out and pre-plucked around here yeah it's just really really beautiful you know um i do have one full lace wig that i've 
played around with recently and yeah I think I'm I'm ready to tackle the install on camera so uh, yeah let me show you this wig um, it hasn't been straightened I all I've done is just plonked it on I'm just gonna straighten it before I put it on so that you can see what it looks like kind of like a before and after so this is straight out of the box um, I've just brushed it so it does have some money pieces here in front as you can see the balayage and the highlighting is all the way around and it is 16 inches so yeah it's really stunning so I'm not gonna talk your ear off about this wig I'm actually gonna put it on really quickly um, I'll insert some footage of cutting the lace and how I apply it with adhesive. If you want more details, then definitely hop over to my Instagram page about how I cut the lace and how I glue it down. I'll have separate videos on those. If you would like to see videos on them here on in, here on YouTube as well, then let me know and I'll gladly pull together a quick edit of the lace and the, um, and the adhesive. All right, so I'm really excited to get started. I am back. I have installed the wig. I've straightened it, first of all. It takes heat like a champ. It's really, really great. I didn't need to go over it more than once. So let me turn around. Yeah, it's, it's still maintained the softness. Um, it was really easy with a straight iron or with a flat iron to straighten this. All I used was some smoothing serum, um, which is also heat friendly and uh, just used it uh, with my straight iron on 190 degrees Celsius. I also cut the lace, cut around the hairline. It has installed really nicely. Um, I did use got to be gel or a Taft gel if you're in Australia, got to be free spray, glued spray. Um, and I use one layer of each with a cold shot of air from my blow dryer. It probably took around five minutes. So if you are hesitant about a, um, a lace front, maybe look glueless instead. Um, but it does take five minutes once you get the hang of it and it just takes a little bit of practice. So let me talk to you about the fit after I've installed it. So I've been wearing it for about half an hour now. So the fit on this is beautiful. Um, I am a petite to average um, head size. This is a medium cap, so it is an average cap. It fits really, really lovely. Um, it fits well around the, um, the sides of the head. If you don't like the strap and you're not used to wearing a strap on your wigs, um, medical wigs don't have a strap, you can absolutely remove that. Um, it's not bulky. It just has a lot of hair. So let's talk a little bit about lace front. The lace is super invisible. I'm really happy with the lace actually. Um, I will come closer. So I've added powder to the part and just a little bit to the front area. I don't add baby hairs to my wigs unless I've worn them for a little while. So I like to just make my part and my hairline a little bit more seamless with some powder. Um, this is what it's looking like at the moment. It is absolutely beautiful. 
I really love the hairline on this. Um, it's not moving with just those two products. That's what that looks like. Yeah, it's really lovely. I've added some powder to the part as well. You can pluck the part if you want it to be a bit thinner and a bit wider. I'm okay with the part as it is for now. I don't know whether I'm gonna pluck it yet. I need to see myself in the mirror a few times before I actually do that um, and maybe wear this once or twice before I actually start plucking anything. Um, I really love these money pieces. It just, I don't know, it just makes your face lighter and brighter. I mean, am I too old for money pieces? No, <laughs> I think anyone can pull them off as long as they are discreet like these are. They aren't the big chunky money pieces that are like two inches deep. So I think Edith has done a really good job on the money pieces. She's made them really quite subtle and discreet for someone my age, so I don't look silly when I wear it. So um, the shade Strawberry Blonde, I really love it. I do like that Strawberry Red. It does work really nicely with the highlights. Um, yeah, I think it looks really good. Yeah, you know, I'm pretty much blown away by the quality um, and the way that Edith has actually um, added in the balayage and the highlighting. So I'm pretty pleased with that. So one thing I will say is the elastic band. It's not for everyone. Um, it's definitely not for those of you who have never worn one before. It'll be really bulky and uncomfortable. You can move the elastic band around. Um, mine is just behind the ear tabs or just at the ear. So if I were to tell you where it is, it's just there. So pretty much adjacent to my ear. I'm not going to remove it yet. I'll see whether it's comfortable or not. I need to walk around in it. I need to wear it all day um, to see whether that bothers me. It does add some bulk though, so I might actually cut it and remove it. But in saying that, I want to try it without glue one day. So when I put this on, it did fit so nicely that I didn't need any glue on the lace front. Because I don't really wear my wigs back, um, I could probably get away with not gluing down the ear tabs so I could probably wear this glueless. I need to wear it a few times to see whether I can actually do that or not. Um, I just need to play around with it a little bit more. But yeah, I'm, to tell you that I'm pleased is an understatement. I really do like the way that this wears and you know how I've been able to straighten it and um, I guess to install it. So yeah, it's really pretty. It's not going anywhere. So when you glue down a wig and you want to flip it, it's so easy to do. Um, and this is just beautiful anyway. So it is a lace front. So this is where the lace comes to. And you can easily flip around in that area. So yeah, I really like that. It works nicely this way as well. Yeah, I'm just feeling myself in, in this wig because I have wanted, uh, as I mentioned, a custom strawberry blonde for a little while since I've started wearing those red wigs and those strawberry blonde wigs. And I'm really happy that with this one, I mean, so far it's really lovely. I mean, it's probably my second time wearing it. The first time was just with lace. So yeah, I'm happy with how it looks. I'm happy with the lace and the customized hairline. It, it's really, really pretty. The colour is great and the hair quality is really beautiful. So yeah, I'm really pleased with this. Thank you so much, Edith, for such an amazing job um, on this custom piece. I couldn't be happier, actually. I think it's really pretty. And yeah, I, pff, I'm going to wear this all day. I'll post some pictures up on my Instagram today so that you guys can see what it looks like um, on the good old Instagram. So yes really happy with this. I hope I haven't bored you guys terribly, but I wanted to start talking a little bit about some human hair and this gorgeous custom piece because, yeah, I've been talking a lot about synthetics, but I do wear human hair and, you know, I just don't showcase it enough on, on my Instagram or on my YouTube. So this will now have a really nice place in my human hair wig collections and I hope you guys like it. If you do have any questions about the hair click, it could do, you know, um, 
what how I got this customized a bit more detail I'll have some details in the description down below about this piece specifically but if you want to know a little bit more about the process then please um, please comment below the video and you know ask away I will try and help you as much as I can and I will redirect you to the hair click um, Facebook page so that you can see a few of the other custom pieces that Edith has or Edith does create um, they're actually really really beautiful I do have my eye on another one right now actually but um, yeah I think I'll just take my time with this and give it the love that it deserves so that is it for my first impressions and installation of the hair click um, custom piece I hope you guys have enjoyed it and yeah, if you are on the market for a custom piece with some beautiful balayage, then I would definitely go check out Edith Kadoom, contact her and see what she can do for you. So yes, thanks so much for watching guys. Um, if you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Kim. I usually don't ramble this much in my videos and sorry that it's a really long one, but I'm so excited about this hair that I just wanted to give it the, um, the love and the attention that I that I should. Um, so yeah, I usually talk about synthetic wigs, often about human hair wigs as well. Um, it's my first time doing an installation for you guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I do have an Instagram channel if you'd like to see more and more of my everyday photos and wig of the days. So go check that out if you haven't already and please don't forget to subscribe down below before you leave. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.